welcome back to my channel my name is Ked So Real and on my channel I specialize in DIY makeup and unboxing and you know under the team makeup we have skincare routines and a lot more so today's video I will be doing my first skincare routine um, Happy to share my routine with you guys, my ingredients, and my way of doing it. So if you're interested, please sit back, relax, and watch me do my thing. Thank you. These are all my natural ingredients the first step so we have some cornmeal right here I have honey pure raw honey a lemon Cute. you can use lime as well and I have the good old Jamaican curry and you can also use the turmeric this is the process for the turmeric all right we in Jamaica we call it the curry half tablespoon of cornmeal then you'll need some honey you can give it about one two three three drops right Just lemon and I'm gonna squeeze After adding all the ingredients into one container, you would then want to go ahead and use a clean popsicle stick to evenly distribute the product onto your face or onto the affected area. You want to continue to spread it evenly throughout your skin. If you're having trouble using the popsicle stick, you can go ahead and use your fingers. Gently massage throughout your face. Be gentle because the cornmeal acts as an exfoliator for your skin. It removes dead particles from your skin such as dirt, oil, grease, also makeup. You want to also gently rub it around your eyes in a circular motion massage thoroughly onto your neck your face all over okay after massaging your skin or scrubbing you want to wait about 15 minutes then rinse with warm water now that your face is all rinsed off and per squeaky clean and very smooth you want to get a clean towel or a rug and pat dry your face do not rub you need to pat dry rubbing can cause the skin to be very inflamed so you need to pat dry in because remember you just exfoliate from all that scrubbing so you don't want any more harsh products on your skin so pat dry your skin always make sure it's completely dry so you can be prepared for the next step now for my second process for my skincare is steaming and this is so important to me now I'm adding about four drops of that same lemon juice to the water make sure the water is very hot not to burn you though then you're gonna get your towel and your hot water to go ahead and prepare for the steaming Ensure that the towel is large enough to fit over the container so there's no escape for the steam when you're doing the process. Steaming can last up to 15 minutes. Please be extra careful when doing this. Remember it's very hot water you're working with. 
as the container can seal so please be very careful and voila I'm all clean fresh my pores are open I'm sweaty I'm everything in one oh my god at this time please remember that your pores are largely opened so you want to stay away from any cold air that can affect your body however you are going to close back your pores using water from the top the pipe cold water then you're going to pat dry your face remember not to wipe it pat dry preparing for the next process the last ingredient that I'll be using on my face is some aloe vera. This is very natural, it's very organic and it's very good for the skin in bringing back moisture into your skin. Cut around the edges of the aloe vera ensuring all the skin is removed so it won't itch your skin. Then you're going to leave the gel to rub on your face. Okay. Gently rub the aloe vera onto your skin in a circular motion. Always use circular motion when massaging your skin. Okay. The aloe vera is a green organic plant that is very good for acne prone skin. It gives moisture to your face. And your body it's good for burns it's good for redness it's good for scars you, you can also get more of the gel to rub on your face by cutting the excess that you have, have already used on your face and continue to rub your skin gently in a circular motion After leaving it on for 5 minutes, simply rinse with cold water. So it's best to chew a piece of the aloe vera because you can't be doing skincare on the outside and not benefiting <laughs> from the inside so you have to do that. Now this step is very very important, it's the moisturizing step where I'm using the Nivea Cherry Blossom with Jojoba Oil. It's very good for dryness and good for acne. You also want to consume a lot of water, they say 8 glasses of water a day and I'm telling you I'm seeing a big improvement in my skin from doing that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Nivea with Jojoba Oil to moisturize my face. And again, I'm doing it all over in a massaging circular motion, very gently. To prevent dryness, please ensure that you massage the moisturizer all over your skin. When I wear a lot of makeup, I also use the Noxzema, the cleanser. It's a daily deep pore cleanser along with my spin brush to remove the dirt, the oil and to exfoliate. Now this step is very optional, you don't have to do it. I'm using the honey, the same raw pure honey, just to moisturize my lips. I do it all the time. <laughs> it's very tasty. But you can use any lip moisturizer that you prefer. It's just best to keep your lips moisturized and not too dry as they will crack. This is the end of my skincare routine guys. I hope you all enjoy. Mwah.